What's up, y'all? My name is Don Serge. I'll be going over how I made this futuristic hip hop beat. Let's go ahead and listen to a snippet of it. Alright, so now that you got an idea of it, let's go ahead and dive into it. So what I did is design a sound in Serum. By itself, this is what it sounds like. Sounds pretty dull, but I know I wanted it to get a little bit more bite, a little bit more crunch. So I put on my favorite distortion plugin, Double Lock, and now it's gonna get a lot more grimy. So next I put in an LFO shaper, so it's a Max for Life device that you can use in Ableton. Kind of like LFO tool, but this one's specifically for Ableton, if you have Max for Live. So let's listen to that. Now it's a little more bouncy. So that's starting to sound good, but I wanted to add a little bit more of effect, uh, kind of like a phaser or a chorusy sound. So I added this phase mixture from Sound Toys. So let's take a listen to that. Now it's sounding a little bit more futuristic, right? So it went from a dull sound all the way to futuristic. So before, kind of dull with all the effects. A lot more modulation. Putting down that pad, I put down this 808. Um, I like to put Decapitator a lot on my 808s. I feel like it adds a lot of harmonics, adds a lot of a better tone. So if we play it by itself, here it's very subby, very low. But then if you add that Decapitator, woo, now nah, it's angry. <laughs> so now I pretty much got the fundamentals. So I went in and dropped some drums, started off with this perk loop. It's kind of it's kind of a weird perk loop, but to me it sounded right. I usually like to pull these loops in and pitch it up, pitch it down. It usually gives it a different tone. Mess around with the different warp modes and see what I can come up with. So originally it sounded like this. Kind of cool. But to me it sounded better if I pitched it up. Um, after having that perk loop, I added the drums. Simple kick snare move. Very simple. Add the prick loop in there. A little bit more movement. So it sounds kind of off, but in the context of things, if you have all that together with the 808, uh, and it all kind of blends in. From there, it still sounded kind of dry. Um, you can pretty much got the fundamental and the basis on there. So went ahead and added this lead from Omnisphere. But by itself, this is what it sounds like. Added a radiator to give it a little bit more saturation. A little bit more warmth. Drop the volume down. So with the context of the whole beat, this is like the extra little sauce in the end needed to just spice things up a little bit. And now I pretty much got the full, full beat. Last but not least, added the beat tag on there. And ready to go. That's pretty much the beat, so I'll go ahead and mix it, master it. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.